All right, we're glad to have you back mm -hmm. on TVC Breakfast this Friday morning. Let's begin the show in earnest, of course, we're looking at uh, the headlines this morning. As usual, we're being joined by CEO of uh, CKN News, uh, Chris Kende Mwando. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. All Good right, morning. we gather you just came back from uh, Aloibo. Uh, you're still <laughs> suffering from jet lag. Thank you. All right, you're much. welcome back. Thank you very much. All right, let's begin. Uh, APC taking Nigerians for fools, says Obasanjo. Ex President's coalition joins ADC. Uh, remember, he had said hmm, any attempt to become or to evolve or you metamorphose, mm. if you like, into a political mm. party, I'll have nothing to do with it. And now he has this uh, coalition that's joined the ADC. While saying that APC has taken Nigerians for fools. Mm. Uh, well, uh, the cat is out of the bag. Uh, mm. uh, when the former president uh, started his movement and said um, it's not going to be a political party, it's not mm. going to be, some of us didn't believe him. Um, mm. He's someone we've known for long. Uh, and um, since his military days, uh, Basanjo is somebody that uh, is caught out. When he's caught out to do something, mm. he goes for it. Uh, it could be deceptive initially, but we knew where he was going to. Uh, the only issue there is that um, most people are told that he, he was going to be SDP. The speculation has always been that he was SDP, SDP, mm -hmm. SDP. Mm -hmm. uh, he now pulled the, the stunt yesterday. Um, so we were in surprise. Um, so I, I wonder how many people know about this ADC. Who are the uh, big guns, if there are any? In sincerely, the yeah, well, sincerely, so uh, uh, yes, sincerely, uh, not many people know of uh, ADC. Mm. I personally had not taken um, so much interest in, in that. Uh, it's just one of those obscure, um, quote unquote, mm. uh, political parties. But let's see what he can do with that. My concern well, is him, where he said. joining the party now, it will come out of obscurity. Yes, definitely. Sure definitely. Where you're talking about APC making Nigerians poorer and the rest of them, yeah. is he just getting to know that? Is he just getting to know that? Um, it, it has been in the front burner for years, at least for the past three years, that we've been having serious challenges across the board. Mm -hmm. And um, some, we have issues that we are uh, from the former regimes and the rest of them. Yeah, but this the particular, would yes. say that the, the PDP laid the foundation exactly. for whatever but, um, the country is suffering now. Yes. Let's move on to mm -hmm. other, there's so many other stories here mm -hmm. begging for attention. Mm -hmm. U.S. gives Nigeria 32 billion naira to conduct HIV AIDS sensors. That's a good one. Um, I didn't know that HIV has been uh, on the rise, uh, but of recent, I think what, for now, I think that for me, I think we should be more focused on the Ebola virus that is about ravaging Africa all, mm -hmm. all over again it's from DRC. Again DRC. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. I'm from DRC. I just came through the airport yesterday um, <laughs> and there was nothing uh, on ground. Uh, really? Yes, there was nothing on ground. To show to that, that, to show that, that kind of nothing. There was no check. There was no check. But there were reports. Understand. There were reports earlier that the aviation authority has taken steps to ensure that mm -hmm. people are properly checked are they at the airport. airport. I just came from the US um, yesterday. We're surprised said, to hear. So there was nothing. Mm. I, nobody wow. was checked. There was no check except they, <laughs> they put up the place this morning. Mm. But as I as I arrived yesterday, uh, there was no check. In. Uh, we just we are just you just stamp your. Uh, uh, your passport and mm. you move. I think we should put something in check now so that the uh, Dr. Sawyer yeah, does not respect Dr. Of, uh, Sawyer's does, does, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sawyer does not And Oshomole mm. declares bid for APC national chair. Mm. did that <laughs> yesterday. Yes, that mm. was, uh, we we'll be expecting that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it seems that he has been anointed by the so-called gods. <laughs> 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 are, there, are there any gods <laughs> in the, in the of APC? Of course, when I mean gods, <laughs> godfathers. I don't know that. Godfathers. <laughs> so, okay. so, so he's right. ready to go. <laughs> okay, speaking of Ebola, health worker strike threatens air passenger screening. Again, Senate Knox IG says he's afraid of his own shadow. FG targets more revenue from 19 million taxpayers. Of course, we hear the numbers have gone up to 19 million. All right. All right, um, let's, let's take a look at the new Telegraph mm -hmm. now. And uh, it leads with the 2019 elections, of course, uh, still talking about the aftermath of President, former President Obasanjo's um, uh, new party, that Nigerians are poorer, divided under Buhari, APC, and that's coming from the former president. Yes, divided, I would tend to agree with him. Uh, I don't think we've ever been so divided. Mm. Uh, uh, the last time I, I'm sure we expressed this could be during the Civil War, uh, but of late, uh, lack of trust, Nigerians no longer trust themselves, mm -hmm. even good neighbors no longer trust themselves. Then coupled with the various killings, 
uh, rapaging across the country yeah. from the north central to the north to the uh, so in Nigeria. Then politically, uh, we are also very very divided now. Mm. And uh, then coupled with uh, then also when you look at it from you know one of the letters in one of his letters he said he talked about nepotism on the part of the current government mm. and the president uh, President Buhari where he said appointments have been made from one particular part of the country mm -hmm. uh, against um, national spread and rest of them so. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 on that, I, believe, I, I totally agree with him um, that Nigerians have never been so divided like this before. But and the, uh, uh, the government is not helping the matters at all. But again, uh, Chris, the message must be taken to heart no. rather than you know, look at the message. No, it's the message we are looking at, not yes. the messenger. It could yeah. have come from any other person. Uh, but all right, yeah, then that's the truth. Let, let's uh, look at um, the health sector. Mm. The services grounded in federal state hospitals. Yeah, I, I know that um, it was federal um, hospitals initially. Now, um, the group now said that the state um, are hospitals joining are joining in, 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 and that's yeah. going to be a big problem because mm -hmm. already we already have serious problem with the health sector in Nigeria. Um, go to any of the federal um, or any of the general so called general hospitals and rest of them, no drugs, doctors are not well motivated. Uh, you can see that even doctors in the uh, public sector, most of them also engage in private practices. Even after, just to billion, make it, yes. even after billions have voted, voted for budget. it and nothing to show for it. Now Which we also have billions, have voted billions for, for, what? for health oh. in for the health, health sector. sector the yes, and uh, now we are also going to have. Billions, I mean, now we are going to have some less health than issues. Less a drop in the ocean. Mm. Very, well, y yes, it is, but, uh, it but is at bad least at, oh. now we are going to we start having health issues. Now we are also talking about the issue of the codeine or no codeine and rest of. So it is a very very big. Isn't it amazing? Have. The last time yeah. um, there was the, the Ebola outbreak, yes. we, we had uh, uh, the same situation in, yes, in we the are health a, yes, uh, sector. Yes, but and Lagos here we government. are again. Mm. It's the almost uh, the same that is, uh, the Lagos state situation. Government. The Lagos state government came out and under um, Governor Fashola to quickly yeah. nip it in the blood. Proactive. And was proactive. Yeah. Mm. So I hope the state government currently can also be able to okay. put something in place. For move that. on. Let's move that. on very quickly. All, All right. right. Let's uh, look at. Uh, no. Yes. There's, yes. There? There's something very important here. Murdered lawyers last day in office. Oh. It is. This is something that is really you know worrying. Uh, the last day we were told that a lawyer told his staff that look, you guys need to eat, be happy life is too short oh it's just unfortunate uh, you know the what has been going around uh, <laughs> social media is that uh, you have to be very careful now when you're marrying a female lawyer you know <laughs> knowing what happened in a bad one no no i'm just i say it's just that's the general <laughs> joke with people you know nigeria <laughs> yeah, but oh it's just a rather unfortunate that very, um, very such unfortunate a very unfortunate that yeah. um, just such could happen mm -hmm. and um coming from two uh, well-learned um, individuals. people, individuals, and rest of them that ordinarily should be living happily. Then this, it's not just the killing that happened; it's the manner with which uh, the lady yeah, went it about it that very, very gruesome, very, very brutal, yeah. gruesome. Yeah. <sighs> very unfortunate. Yeah. All right. Go the Daily Sun. I just needed to catch my breath. <laughs> you know, and I, was, I was just running some Rapid things in my mind. Uh, ADC emerges third force against Buhari. Obasanjo, Yinola, others embrace party and move to unseat president in 2019. Will that be a walk in the park? Time will tell. Court nullifies Omar Agege's suspension. Will appeal judgments, says Senate. Of course, uh, Justice Dimba said uh, the, the, what, what the Senate did was uh, more or less violent against the Constitution, that uh, they had no right to... Um, suspend uh, the, the I, I, I personally, or my, I'm not a lawyer, but personally, I, I still believe that um, the Senate has its house rules. Mm. If they have their house rule, then they, sh they can go ab about their business without any direction. But if now that infringes on the fundamental rights, human rights of the Senate, then he has the right to go to court, uh, which is what he did. Uh, I think this will be resolved. Uh, they say they are going to appeal it. They are going to the court yeah, of appeal. They are going to said. appeal it. Mm. So let's wait and see what the court says. All right. JTF kills 10 armed <coughs> bandits in Taraba. Two die in Boko Haram fresh attack. APC crisis. Imo stakeholders peace meeting with Oshibajo deadlocked. Uh, assembly removes majority leader. Of course, uh, there are issues now between the, the governor, Okorocha, uh, Rochas Okorocha, and we, his deputy. Yes, some of us saw this coming. Uh, uh, yes, we All saw right. it coming. <laughs> yeah, we saw it coming. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, let's take a Vanguard? look at the front, front page of the Vanguard newspaper. Well, um, Obasanjo's uh, CM, of course, merges with ADC as Oyinola quits APC. That's already um, a story that we know. Uh, Shond summons Ozekome Pedro quick as differ with Falano. Falano says that 
the Senate has no right to summon the, to IGP. Summon the IGP. And um, Pedro, Quakers uh, have differed. Yeah, um, those are sons. Those are senior advocates of Nigeria. Um, they, they should know better. But personally, um, under the Nigerian Constitution, the Senate has the right to summon anybody, including the president. So what we can be looking at is that the circumstances under which they have been summoned mm -hmm. and reasons why they have been summoned. Um, if, according to uh, some of the reports we got, um, he was summoned because of the killings across the country, yeah. that is legitimate. Mm -hmm. And the, the issue the of your marriage, I'm just trying to mm -hmm. uh, divide the yes. two. Mm -hmm. You know, if mm -hmm. he was summoned because of the killings across board, mm -hmm. then yes, maybe and the rest of them, he, should, he, he ought to uh, appear. Then, if he was someone because of Dilo Malaye, which has become an internal thing, mm. then I think if the case is already in court, mm. then I don't know whether the Senate have the right to do that. But that notwithstanding, I just came back, as I said, I just came back from the States. In the United States of America, where we mm. learned, uh, we are getting this. There's democracy. Nobody. Even Donald Trump can be summoned. Mm. And once you are summoned, mm. irrespective of how you feel, you must appear before the Senate. You dare not. Well, uh, of, is of, course, still, of course. It's still a nonsense. Uh, 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 so let's just look uh, at Of course, you remember that the president must, it is, it is mandatory that he should appear yes. at the Senate, yes. especially when he wants to give State of the Union address. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, to talk yes. about uh, yes. the runnings of government and exactly. all of that. Exactly. Well, uh, let's uh, look at another story alleged financial crimes. NGC sets up seven panels uh, to probe 26 mm. judges. That's a good one. Mm. Uh, that's a good one. I think that within the rank and file of mm. the judiciary, because if we, lo if we miss it, within the judiciary system, then the, the, that we're going to have problem because that is supposed to be the last hope of the poor man. Mm. Okay, so if we can get our judiciary right, with all that has been happening in the past few months, uh, the issue of corruption, yeah. uh, judges being arrested, and mm. uh, a lot of people have tend to lost the, the lost hope in the judiciary, you mm. know, because people now believe that when you go to the court, you might not be able to get uh, justice. justice. And once you don't do that, what what do people resort to? And and I can rest of them. Chris, I, yes. I, I I made reference earlier to Ngozi, the, what the, to uh, Trasimachus, yes. a Sophist philosopher who said justice is For usually the in the interest of the strong. It is, it is, <laughs> and it has always been right from the ah. time in Mamera. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, that's it uh, on the vanguard. To my last paper this morning, this day, Oshomale promises to rebrand the APC. Mm. Uh, says nobody can use him. Mm. <laughs> I'm for everybody, I'm for nobody. Yes, is that uh, the line he stole? That's the line he stole. Okay. That we believe him. We okay. believe him. Let's wait and see. All right, let's see if we will uh, live up to expectation. Yes, wait and see. Uh, Nati, that's Extractive Industry uh, um, you know, Initiative. FG, others shared 1.94 trillion naira in first quarter. They shared it to do what? <laughs> This year, is, you know, this year. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just let's just leave it there. Exactly. Let's leave it there. Mm. Okay, but well, of course, you know that Nigeria is awash with all kinds of mineral resources, resources solid minerals, that, and that, all of that. That, that, that we have know, not been able to. It's very annoying because um, we all tap. depend on tap, continue yeah. depending on oil and oil. In if fact, somebody said the, the crisis mm. in Zamfara State right now is yeah. really about the solid so minerals, the mining. Is. Yes, uh, it yeah, is. yes, it that, is. that's what's going on there. It is, it is. Okay, uh, Chris Wando, thank you very much for joining thank, us this morning. I guess we'll be keeping you behind to discuss our next topic, of course. When we come back.